Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com and today I'm going to have the exciting, fun task. I'm going to repair a day-night shade in the RV. Here's my broken one. And not too long ago I had a string go on them. So they have some strings wound in between them. And uh, when it snapped, of course one side fell down. I've since pulled the other string off and I got myself a shade repair kit it's made by United Shade this thing comes with five 20 foot strings and we got some hardware bits in there yeah, five 20 foot cords, six cord retainers, eight cord bushings, three springs easy to follow step by step instructions just need scissors, a flathead and Phillips screwdriver so I wasn't looking forward to ever having to do one of these. I was kind of lucky in our rig. This is the first one that busted. Not bad, eight to almost eight years full-time living and that's the first string we've busted. You can kind of see the strings go through there. They wind through each of the pleats. And then you got two different uh, shades going on. You got your nighttime shades and your daytime shades fold right up. So anyway, let's get the old shade pulled off the wall and I can start uh, fixing her. Just got to pull off this valance. I've had this one off before. There's just some uh, Phillips screws in there. Oh, they're Robertson or square head. So I got about five or six of those to pull off. That was a bit of a gong show because this corner area here was super tight on me. Looks like they use an angle bracket up here to hold that, that valance up there. And then the, the shade is held in with two screws up here. And then the rest of the valance is, is held in by screws all over the, the outside of it. Anyway, just checking out the instructions here. Uh, Shade restringing instructions. It looks like there's all kinds of different types of shades. There's day or night two chords, day or night four chords, day and night two chords, and day and night four chords. Oh god, I'm glad I don't have the four chord. <laughs> anyway, I have the version three day night shades with two chords. And this diagram kind of says it all. Looks like what happens is the top rail there, I'm going to have to open it up. There's a spring in there. And then you got your cord procedure, seems to go down through all the pleats, across the middle rail, down, and then crosses over again. And then it's held at the, with the bottom cord retainer. So I'm going to have to take these uh, sections apart. I think I'm going to do this outside where I have more room, maybe on the back of the truck. Here's what we got in the kit. Little springy things. Nice to get a, some extra of these plastic clips. These, I've, I've had a few of these break in the past. They're kind of hard to come by. Some RV parts places have them, but many don't. So it's nice to have some spares because I've had, I've had where I've accidentally hit against it with a chair and cracked them. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, got a little work area set up here on the truck bed. Things spread out. Let's go through things step by step here. Um, carefully pry loose the end caps with a flathead screwdriver so as to not damage the plastic caps set aside for reassembly later. Slide rails off horizontally. Bottom rail might get hung up on knob rivets so be firm it'll eventually slide off. Okay, so I guess I gotta take these 
three rails apart. Get them uh, apart so we can restring. So, got the three sections pulled apart. You can see these plastic uh, pieces slide out of the, the covers here. On the top part, there's a spring tied together, and then the strings run through a section down here. Then they're supposed to cross over, go down the other one, cross over, and go through here. See the different sections in there. And at the bottom, the strings will come out the end. You can see there's a little uh, grommet, plastic grommet in there. And there's also plastic grommets at the end of each um, pleating section. So that's what those grommets I gave you some spares in case your grommets are broken. And springs, I guess, in case your springs are broken. You can see I have beige strings. Um, they were right out of white strings at the supply place, so I didn't want to wait. I think it'll be okay because it'll look fine going through here. You get your choice of white or beige strings. So, now I get to uh, remove these strings and string my new string all the way through. Just probably just hold that like that and run it through the holes. First section done. So this is a top rail. I tied a new spring in there. Use a bit of the old uh, string just to hold that section together while I threaded it through. Went through pretty easy. Drop to both sides. Now I'll slide this section back into this rail and put it back together and then I can continue on to the next section. go. So crossed them and ran them through the bottom. So we have one more cross to go and then out the sides of this bottom piece. Should be able to put everything back together. Together, restrung according to this diagram here. Now, the last thing is to go remount the shade and then add the little retainers and adjust the, the height. So, we'll take the shade back into the rig. Okay, so remounted with two screws up there. Let's have some gorilla tape holding it so it doesn't fall down so I can set the the cord length here back into the old holes. These new uh, ones are pretty cool. They kind of come apart like a clamshell and then they clamp on, go back together and clamp. So when you tighten the screw, it locks the string in place. So we'll give her a test, see what we got before I put the, the valance back on. Okay made a little bit of a boo-boo so I had to take it all apart again. I had reversed a couple things. You can see in here you need a place to grab to lift them and I had reversed one of mine so I had no place to grab anymore so 
So we went out there and took it all apart again and restrung it to get it right. I think I got it uh, kind of tightened properly now. Let's give you a demo. Not too bad. So we'll get the balance back on there. See what it looks like. Okay, all back together looking pretty again. Nice to have this blind back working. There we go. So I was kind of happy that the, one of the small ones went first so I could practice on it. It's not a hard job. Once you uh, figure it out, it, it goes pretty easily. So I've done it a few times now. Would have been a pain if one of these big ones went. <laughs> Wouldn't want to learn on that one. So now I have lots left in my kit. I'll do any other blinds that fail. I'm sure once the cords start to, to age, they start to break more often. Anyway, until next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Thanks for watching. Not a bad view out the, the rig window, eh? Cheers, everyone.